Awesome, and we're live into this episode. Thank you so much for joining us, Gunjan. Yeah, hi, hi, great to meet you, sir. How's it going? Likewise, likewise. So, folks, um, just like the other episode, we're going to be covering a very, very interesting journey. Um, this time into someone who's working currently with Grow, one of India's fastest growing fintech companies. Um, I'll quickly give an intro into Gunjan's profile, and then we'll move on to covering three buckets today. One is, uh, of course, learning a little more about his journey. um why he chose to grow uh, why he chose to grow with grow and also why product management uh, in the second section we'll go a little deeper into how to really crack a tier one product opportunity you know what are those tactical things you can do um how do the rounds at grow look like uh, what are some other top companies that gunjan was applying to and towards the last section uh, we have some surprise elements some surprise questions for him and do stay tuned but kicking it off gunjan is currently an associate product manager at grow and he is a 2021 dual degree engineering graduate from iit madras during his time at college he was an active member of the isa and he also interned several companies including titan itc and the sun coca cola beverages and a lot more um so i'm sure gunjan you'd love to share a little more about this so handing it over to you we'd love to hear about those early days why did um, how was college life for you and how did you really you know get to know about product management and really want to pursue a career in this yeah hi just hi uh, so as they have already introduced me i'm gunjan i'm based out of jaipur i spent my early days traveling around india my dad was in air force so like i traveled a lot around india i've graduated out of iit madras last year in from mechanical engineering specialized in product design I wouldn't say I was a very bright student academically, but as a curious one, so I've like I've tried different things at college. I was a very social person. I was part of different teams, uh, especially in the cultural sphere. I was part of cultural fair starting from the first year. I was part of the entrepreneurship club where I tried different things. I've also part of been part of startups. I've done like different try types of. interns starting from mechanical internships to business interns to operation ones and then ended up being here in product got it got it got it but uh, how did you learn about product management and why did you choose product management given that you know you've done internship opportunities yeah. across various different domains how did you choose this to be the pick so i so as kind of i mentioned so i wasn't sure what to do in the starting so i kind of had an idea okay i want to try engineering first i wasn't a very bad engineer to be frank so i started exploring like i tried different things uh, what everyone does coding i also tried mechanical stuff tried a couple of projects i tried finance interns i tried vc interns as well i left that vc intern in two weeks i tried consulting intern in titan uh as comfortable with business roles uh, uh to an extent but in an ideal scenario what i was thinking is i want a role where and i can use my uh the technical experience or like the engineering background and the business skills so product seemed like a role uh, which has both of it and i did not want to jump into it so i tried i was part of an startup called isel wherein i was like i was leading a division of it so it was kind of a product role so i got a hint of how product works and i was talking to a lot of my seniors so uh you usually have connections to a lot of seniors are working in different fields so i used to talk to them and understand how what all fields what it feels like what a uh, product manager actually does so just trying to understand what actually happens there and through my experience at eplean i kind of got an gist okay this is what product management looks like and then i wanted to try it out uh once that is how i kind of ended up here absolutely i think these are one of the two things that you know i usually share with a lot of folks if you get an internship nothing better than uh, you know learning it on the go but if not at least yeah. try spending some time talking to senior members in the community mm-hmm. right and try to understand what the role is all about um today there is so much information out there on the internet so many people that you can reach out to i think that's a great way and exactly uh, gunjan Yeah, take taking it one step ahead. How did the role at Grow come your way? Uh, when you decided, hey, okay, now I really want to pursue a full time role here. 
how did you mm. go about uh, deciding how did you shortlist companies how did these you know how did you start reaching out what was that process like okay so i uh, i uh, starting from just giving a gist i got guru from our placement process at iit madras so how how i went about it was like in the starting we were looking at product roles and normally there aren't a lot of product roles in uh, like engineering colleges even at iits or bits so uh, like till last 3 to 4 years i flipkart has been coming to campus so you're hopeful ki ha at least flipkart will be a company that will look forward to so once flipkart came we started preparing for dex applying for flipkart and then uh, suddenly grow came into the picture so grow also came to the campus and there were some other uh, companies like vmock uh, i think ninja cart also came so there were like other companies which came to the campus but in iits what happens is placement happens on a daily basis so there is a day one day two day three day four and if you are placed on day one day two you won't be able to sit for day three day four so that is the kind of process so we were scared that because of these new because all these new new companies come at the back of the placement process so after day 3 most of these new companies so we were hoping to get uh, at least like some tier 1 product roles on day 1 day 2 so that we can aim for it right? luckily uh, grow ended up there like uh, their pro- like the program apm program at grow was pretty good so they got a good slot uh similar to flipkart so we kind of applied for most of product roles from there there were other product companies like i think access bank had a product digital product role and sprinkler and a couple of other companies had product analyst roles i think a lot of product analyst roles come to campuses not yeah. a proper product management role though fair and uh, how many did you apply to what did that funnel look like how many did you interview at? yeah so i uh, i was very sure that i only want to apply for business and product roles like mostly product roles so i did not sit for any uh, core operations or any other roles i only applied for product role as such and i think i so that is why like at the that was a point where i was like ki ha i got shortlist in most of the those product roles as like ki ha now i can aim for this i don't have to uh, like back on some other roles so there were about i think 6 to 7 roles in iit madras which were related to product which i applied to that was i think the number i remember setting for 6 to 7 roles like majorly right. and uh, were you able to like how did the final look like how many did you get to the last one and did you have a shortlist how did you decide I'm just trying to help more people understand yeah so to uh on an average in iit madras about uh, for every like for example i'll give you an example of flipkart and grow yeah. because that's like the most popular roles i think about 400 to 700 people apply for a particular role in one of these startups or one of these product roles and both for flipkart and grow the shortlist is about 10 to 15 people so that's like the shortlist after that the process starts like there's a body round and there's an interview process and at the end of the interview process about 2 to 4 students get selected uh, for the role so that's like the ratio 2 uh, to 3 out of 700 to 400 oh wow. that's, that's a great 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 shortlist that's awesome and uh, now uh, when you've broken we'll we'll definitely get a little deeper into your grow experience but yeah. um, now that you have say your grow offer on the table did you have others also how hard was it for you to choose and why did you pick grow over the others uh so i had i did not sit for other offers in my campus so like yeah. the according to the priority yeah. in the campus i had grow uh i had offers outside the campus so i had one from udan which was in the business role i had yeah. a, a pre placement interview in udan also i had an opportunity in coca cola where i interned so uh, so that i had but uh, as i mentioned as more inclined toward a product role that is why yeah. i decided to take up grows offer over coca cola and would answer that was like a straight forward decision for me fair fair so, yeah what a great great yeah. thanks for sharing that uh, digging a little deeper into grow uh, mm-hmm. how did the interview process look like uh, would you want to share mm-hmm. you know some of the round some of the questions and how do you suggest yeah. to prepare for this 
Okay. So for grow, it starts with a short list. So for short list, you have to make a deck of a sort. So like Flipkart here also, we have a deck. So there's a problem statement giving to the, given to the student in our year. Uh, the problem statement was something like, how will you uh, use WhatsApp as a, like WhatsApp as a medium to make a product for grow. So something similar every year, you will have a different problem statement, exactly like uh, other product companies. You have to make a deck out of it. This year, what we did was instead of making a deck uh, to make the life of student a bit easier, because we don't want them to make decks for every other company that comes to the campus, we told them to make a document. So uh, uh, it's basically like a product document where you explain your idea, you don't have to make it look beautiful it just put your idea what you're thinking about it and how will you do it so that kind of a document based on that document and a bit of resume you'll get shortlisted so after you're shortlisted uh, this year there'll be a buddy process wherein you will be connected to a couple of senior people uh, who are currently working in grow they will help you out with your preparation how to go about it and things like that on the interview day, it, the interview starts early in the morning, five or six o'clock in the morning. So there are multiple round of interviews. So uh, the interview round depends uh, upon, so there is a bar for the selection. So it's an absolute bar. So if you cross it, you're you selected. If you don't cross it, it doesn't matter if there are 10 people who are above that bar, 10 will get uh, selected. If there aren't anyone, no one will get selected. That's like the absolute bar. So uh, the interview number of interview round depends on uh, like the candidate. It usually varies between two to four rounds. So I had two round of interviews. Uh, so both of those round were related to product. Both of those round were by uh, VP of engineering and the product head. So there were those were two rounds. Uh, in one of my rounds, I was asked to design a party product. So something like a discord. So how do you design a party product considering like this pandemic situation? Uh, because I used to use discord a lot. So it is based out of conversation. So whenever you talk to the interviewer, the interviewer will find something about you and then will ask a question on it. The second round was just to identify if like, they wanted to make the process quick. So they wanted to decide if they want to take me in or not because my first round was pretty good. So uh, they were just testing my basics. So they asked me like a lot of small questions. There was a small guesstimate to fig, uh, fig for a food delivery process in IIT Madras. Uh, there was another small question based on explore page of Swiggy. They asked me, how will you design the explore page of Swiggy from scratch? just trying to check if my basics are right. They weren't going deep into the process of solving a case study, but like if I'm going on the right path, they will just stop me and then move to the next question. So that is what was going on. Just evaluating if my basics are sorted, if I know what those uh, success parameters are, what, my, what the right metrics are, if I know about all of those things. So I had these two rounds and then I was offered uh, the offer and a couple of okay. my friend had about like four, four rounds four was the maximum okay. number of rounds which were there in grow so two to five rounds got it got it and any idea what their rounds might have been like what are those additions? yeah so um so uh the rest of the two rounds were again on the same line so for example if a candidate is weak in let's say one aspect there might be another round to check if like another set of questions. So the fourth round usually is a tech round, uh, which is usually there in most of the product uh, interviews, just to take, check if you have an understanding of tech, you don't need to know all the system designs and all of those things. You just have to sit with the interviewer and then take it as a case. So for example, if they ask you how an Iron Man works, so that's like a typical product question, how an Iron Man suit works. You just need to know, okay, these are the questions that you will ask and how to go about it. So just take it as a conversation and then go about the round. So that is usually the last round and the third round is again, based on a product thinking case. Okay, design something, something similar to uh, what you might've talked about. So that usually uh, the way. I, I don't think so, gross rounds are asked as like as fixed as uh, I think Flipkart has Flipkart, I think has a defined 
round one, round two, round three, round four. For grow, I don't think so. That's the case. Every interviewer has like a set of things that he wants to ask, and it's very like it's very flexible. Uh, it depends how your conversation goes about. I think a friend of mine did not have any product related question in one of his rounds. It was just like a chat with the founder, and the founder is just talking about his life, and then. Uh, it was just like a very casual conversation where the yeah. Lalit was trying to figure out, okay, what is this guy like? So I think that was yeah. third round for one of my friends. Very interesting. Very interesting. Um, I think, yeah, I think I've heard about similar experiences at Grow. Uh, what would you suggest if someone is trying to break into Grow? Any any tips and tricks uh, around the preparation? Like any questions that were asked or, hey, you know, this is the mm. interview prep that worked for me and it might work mm. for you. Anything you'd like to share in these two aspects? Yeah. So I think uh, one thing that I would ask the candidate to do is get your basics sorted. Like just understand you don't have to do a lot of cases or different cases, becoming efficient in all of those cases, knowing everything. All of those things are like you, it will come your way with time. It'll, everything takes time. So one thing which you should have is knowing all of those basics, knowing what like simple terms mean what all of those terms mean, how do you use it in your daily life, like metrics, success metrics, how do you define it, uh, knowing all of those experiments, what is A-B testing, like just basic terms which you should know when you're sitting for an interview like this. So just knowing those basics, just knowing your process is right. You don't have to follow one framework which is given in XYZ book. You don't have to follow it by heart. You just need to know, okay, this is the process. This is what I will follow. This is what works for me. This doesn't work for me and follow it. Like whatever you feel right. You have to be confident in the interview. It shouldn't look like, okay, yeah, you're, you're confused if you should go this way or that way. You should know, okay, this is what I'm doing. This is right. Yeah, this is where I have to figure out. This is where I have to ask questions. This is something that I'm not sure of. Should I should ask the interviewer if I should, yeah. this is an assumption that I should make or not. So like be confident, know your things, right? Don't be confused. And yeah, uh, be like, make sure you ask questions. It's not like you, you can't know everything. So wherever you have a doubt, ask it to the interviewer and they'll be happy to help you. It yes. should be like a conversation. It shouldn't be like, okay, yeah, I'm telling you things. I'm just telling you things. It should be like, it's a convo. It's a two-way conversation in case it should look like that. Yeah, no, that's a great point. That's definitely a great point. Any particular resources that you'd like to give a shout out to that helped you? Uh, so a couple of resources. So there is the senior of mine, Advait Sridhar and Akash Ramdas. There's a book of theirs uh, for product interviews. I think uh, preparing for product interviews or something. So that's one book that I referred in the starting. I think that got my, okay, this is like the starting point. Yeah. There, they have diff like, figured out if this is the process start with this start reading this that's like that could be like first thing that you start reading and then go to the other books uh, i think there is swipe to unlock for tech uh, knowledge and there are other couple of books i forgot the name of the book i think i'll uh, give you a text for that no problem. Yeah. so i think there are a couple of books written by a product manager from google i think i forgot the name of the person but i referred those books uh, not too deep, that is, I don't remember the name, but Swipe to Unlock and Akash, yeah. Akash's book was something that I read completely. Apart from that, I solved a lot of cases. So I think a lot, I have to give shout out to uh, a cup like communities like the product folks. And I think I was part of this community called Relay Campus, which yeah. provided us a lot of with a lot of cases. So when we do cases, we try to understand things. Okay, this is what product cases are solved. This is how product cases are solved. So these communities, I would like to give a big shout out to because I don't think so. There are there were a lot of cases still last year available in like resources and books or there mm -hmm. weren't a lot of case books available for product. So these communities, I think I used to see a lot of posts put up by the product books for product cases. So we used to pick up those cases and solve among us. So like these cases and communities are a big help. So yeah, shout out to you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Gunnar. Yeah, in fact, I think teardowns and product case studies has been one of our yeah, biggest yeah, focus. Yeah. Um, uh, also, one uh, one person I remember, I I think I uh, saw an interview of this person, Gokul Nath Sridhar. I oh, think yeah. this, he's from uh, Gojek. So he has an 
he has a blog of sorts where he has properly explained how product thinking works he also has a okay. framework called i think sidal dosi uh, which mm-hmm. i really like so yeah mm-hmm. shout out to gokul for that so i really like i'll, def- I'll definitely let him know i think uh, he moved on from gojek now but yeah, yeah he has a startup that. of his own if i remember that clearly yeah, that. yeah no that's a great blog in fact i think these are great relevant resources that you mentioned um pretty much uh, indian focus right i think we see a lot of exactly, content yeah. which is global but uh, all of it what you mentioned is very very relevant and hmm. like you mentioned over the last year i think communities mm-hmm. people uh, mentors in the ecosystem coming together and sharing these learnings i think that's great mm-hmm. uh, i'm sure this will help a lot of folks uh, we will definitely add links to most of these in the description below so folks do check it out um, gunjan moving on to the last segment of today's discussion we we'll love yeah. to get to know you a little better and uh, also if you have some tips and tricks for uh, the rest of uh, our audience tuning in um first up uh, definitely i think you mentioned a couple of interesting things to keep in mind but uh, one question that i had for you was uh, you recently transitioned into product but uh, mm-hmm. while you were hearing from a lot of people about product management and mm-hmm. you know before breaking in you would have you would have had some idea about you know hey this is mm-hmm. what product management looks like and now that you are in apm at grow are there any myths that got busted for you yeah definitely so i used to think that product management is only people management like you, you have a product you manage it you don't have to do a lot of work by yourself but i don't think so that's the case i mean there are a lot of things that you have to do especially when you're working on a initial product so i initially in my days for about one one and a half month i was working on a new product wherein i did not have a team of my own so i was like just scratching things as getting my hands dirty i did uh, a lot of coding like the uh, sql coding and all of those things i had no clue how to do it before joining grow but yeah i learned it in a week or so i started uh, all of doing all of those coding so you have to get your things dirty some sometime or the other and you need to know your tech so after that i got to know the importance of knowing your tech so after that i used to sit with my developers back end developers front end developers just understanding the architecture behind my product so you have to know tech it's not like you are a product manager you don't need to know tech your your team will mostly handle it but you need to know how it works so a lot of times before joining product most of the people think okay yeah i am not a tech guy i don't want to know tech that is why i'll get into product management but that's yeah. not how it works you need to know tech i mean at least the basics so you don't have to you don't have to do coding uh, in most cases but you need at least need to understand how it works 100% yeah i agree with you that i think those are great great points um last question for you gunja um if uh, there was just one thing you'd love to share you know i think um, today what has happened is there are so many resources out there um, mm-hmm. if someone spends enough time on the internet uh, they can find good pathway but if there is only one thing that you'd love to share with the rest only on interview prep right purely for product mm-hmm. management interview prep what would that one thing be uh for product management interview prep i would suggest so the one thing that i would suggest you to do is get a set of friends make a case group and start doing cases just like take 20 cases start doing it if you haven't read anything if you haven't done anything for the first 5 to 10 cases you won't get anything you you won't understand what's happening but after that if that's the only thing that you're doing if you just have like a week to prepare for product interviews just like start reading cases you will start understanding how cases work how pro- like how cases are solved in case of product it's much very dif- uh, like different from what consult cases look like uh, if you like read a couple of consult cases you will understand okay yeah this is consult case and when you read product cases you understand there's a difference between a consult case and a product case so like just read cases and uh, like i would give like my most pri- like the my first priority would be cases solving cases yeah. and understanding how product cases are being solved so yeah 100%. that's like practical understanding how it works i like that actually and i feel like that gives a lot of structure to your thinking also as uh, yeah. you can learn yeah, from consulting yeah. even consulting or product case study uh, yeah. the bottom line and the way they structure it right uh, someone yeah. you might be reading a lot of frameworks but how do you apply these frameworks right yeah. so that is an interesting one i i can also, 
also a lot of time you also apply those frameworks in your real life situation i've started doing it yeah uh, so yeah it definitely helps awesome awesome folks in case you under practice i think every month we have the stand up like uh, gunjan was sharing so do take part in the next one i think that's a great way of just developing product sense also right just keep working and you'll be applying it somewhere so um, do try that out um, gunjan maybe one one more last question for you um, before we tune up uh, would you want to give a shout out to you know if there was i think you did mention gopal and the others but yeah. uh, if there was someone uh, who you consider as a um, role model right someone that you would want to become like is there some, is there someone like that and if there is would you like to um uh, i i'm not sort of role model but a lot of people helped me during this journey like especially my seniors sure. uh, my peers in my college my seniors a couple of your seniors uh, people senior than that so definitely a shout out to them like my case uh, like case buddies were were helping me out being there uh throughout my process i think you already talked to anup who was one yeah. of them anup dan and aniket was one of my seniors so yeah a, a lot of them uh, awesome, awesome. shout out to all of them yeah absolutely absolutely folks i think that is also one of the key right find a good peer set and yeah, keep exactly. your accountable brainstorming with them um do definitely you know get if you have any other questions for gunjan do definitely drop it um in the comments below we will try uh, reaching out to him um uh, over slack and we will try uh, bring out some more insights from him and gunjan what would be the best way for folks to reach out to you uh you guys can always reach out to me on linkedin i think that's like an ideal place for anyone to reach out to me i'm always available there super so if you're preparing for interview with that group um you know where to reach gunjan um with that gunjan thank you so much for your time today i think interesting insights into your journey into um interviewing at grow and some very tactical tips on how to break into product thank you so much for your time today i think we will definitely catch up with you soon again thank you very much for inviting me here i think it was great uh, it was a great discussion i hope it helps someone okay. Thank you.